All right, Master Hugh, time for an upgrade. Oh, what? You know, the thing that I do with the smithing stones? You've been using them for that? What, what, what do you use them for? Smithing stonings, you know, for when people break blacksmith laws. Is this a, a joke? No, it's a very serious thing. People die. Ladies, gentlemen, and tarnest of all ages, if you're here, it's because you want to upgrade your weapon. This video will tell you how to get an unlimited supply of regular smithing stones 5, 6, 7, and 8, which will raise your weapon from plus 12 all the way up to plus 24. If you are looking for these stones prior to this, we have other videos on this channel. Feel free to check those out in the links down below. But for these stones, this is the place to be. To begin, this method assumes that you have unlocked the region after Lindell, the capital city. As long as this has been achieved, head to the very early Zamor Runes site of Grace, and in front of you is, well, the Zamor Runes. Head over here to this downward staircase with minimal resistance leading directly to a chest and guess what in this chest is the smithing stone miners bell bearing three use this with the merchant in the round table hold to be able to permanently buy smithing stone five and six in exchange for runes in order to do the same for seven and eight and unlock the next bearing bell you have to finish the mountaintop area however so firstly a way to get a number of smithing stone sevens earlier in the game is the celia crystal tunnel in Kalid. And here there are a number of varying levels of smithing stone, including sevens, and including a boss at the end who drops specifically five smithing stone sevens by himself. Smithing stone eights you can acquire from the tunnel in the Halig Tree region once you have unlocked it. But seeing as that area is higher difficulty than the end of the main story, it makes far more sense to just get the bearing bell at that point. To that end, once you've defeated the Easter Island head with depth perception problems, which I think is a great spoiler-free description, you will be teleported to a new area area. From this point, if you follow the main path forward, you will reach a boss room that contains a double boss combo of things that you can find earlier within the game. This encounter can be very, very annoying, but if you have fought the earlier versions of this, you may be quite prepared. Once defeated, these bosses drop for you the Smithing Stone Miner's Bearing Bell 4, which you can present once again to the merchant in the round table hold to permanently purchase Smithing Stone 7 and 8. This one is essentially required for story progression, but it may makes it feel quite complete to have the final two bearing bells as well as an earlier location for smithing stone seven altogether neat and tidy. All right, everyone, I've been Cotton Dinosaur from Rage Gaming Videos, and this has been your path to unlocking unlimited smithing stones five, six, seven, and eight. Are you ready to approach the precipice of absolute power? Like if you like the video, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more. And most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, until next Next time, stay sweet. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos. Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes. Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice. To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage. Is, uh, goodbye.